In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the new pic scan feature added in Silhouette Studio version 3.1. What this allows you to do is to take the Silhouette machines and get them to cut out a printed image without the need of registration marks. So to do this, first of all, we'll need to calibrate our camera so that it can be used by the software. That sounds complicated, but it's really just a case of printing out the calibration sheet and then taking a photograph of it. So here's our printed sheet. So we make sure it's on a nice flat level surface, get our camera, make sure we keep it square within the frame and just take a picture of it ready to import it back into the software. Once we're back into the software, it's just a case of creating a new profile, which is as easy as clicking on a little plus sign and opening the file as you would with any other image. So click on our image and click open. The software does a little bit of processing and then it will create the calibration template for your camera. It only needs to be done the once and then that's stored on the system. Next from there, we take our image. Notice I'm using an image that is too small to have registration marks put on it. So you'd struggle with this normally, but with the new pic scan, it's not a problem. So take the image, get it squared in your picture again, same as you did with the calibration sheet. Take your, get your image on your camera, get it back onto your PC, and then we need to open it up within the software. So to do that, it's just a case of clicking on open file, find our file, click open, and the software starts to do its bit of magic. What it'll do here is analyze the image, taking the relative positions from your little markers on the page and your actual design itself. Once you got that, it will slowly bring it into the page. This can take a couple of seconds depending on the speed of your PC, but it, it's pretty quick considering what's going on behind the scenes. So you've got it on your screen now. All you need to do is just add your cut marks in the same way you would when importing any sort of image. So for this, we've got to go to our trace tool and we select the trace area. And we tweak our trace settings slightly. Turn off the high pass filter, well, and we're good to go there, really. So, we only want to trace around everything, so let's just do a trace outer edge. And there's our cut lines added. If you look carefully, you can see the cut lines shown in red, just around the images. So from there, we're pretty good, and we're ready to cut this, this new image. So let's load the image into our machine. These mats are available for Cameo and for Portrait. In this instance, we're just going to use the Portrait. So before we cut that, let's just tweak our cut settings slightly. We're just using normal printer paper. Back those down a little bit because they're a bit aggressive. So let's get them down a bit. You need 10 or 11 on printer paper. And only a blade of one. So, with those tweaked, let's send that to be cut. And let's see how we get on. Here you see the machine finding the registration marks. Once it finds that third one, it will then start cutting. And there we go, one finished cutout. So let's have a look at that. Just 
weed out the excess paper. And let's have a look at that label. One nice contour cut printed label. And we'll weed the rest. And there's our sheet, done and dusted.